Well, they say if you live long enough, you'll see just about everything. And I think there's some truth to that. I was vacationing in Belize, Central America. And I've gone there several times. We were on a commuter flight, flying in a Cessna caravan. And my wife was sitting to, next to a lady who was kind of a nervous flyer. The lady says, is this safe? And my wife says, well, sure it's safe. We've flown these, these caravans all the time. And we fly around Central America. And we've done a lot. It's not a big deal. While she was saying that, I was looking out my window, and I looked down, and in the water, we're flying over uh, some water, it's not particularly deep, but it's along, uh, it's offshore, maybe a quarter mile, and I looked down, and there's an airplane, and the airplane is sitting in the water, and there's this guy, and he's in a dugout canoe, and he's got a stick in his hand, and he's, he's going around this airplane, <laughs> looking at this airplane that's in the water, and... So anyway, I scratch my head. The next day, I'm walking down the beach, and I see these guys pulling the airplane out of the ocean. They've got a front-end loader with a rope hooked on it, and they've got it hooked around the prop. And they pull this thing up. So I get to talking to one of the guys. There's a mechanic there, and it was a relief. It was a missionary flight airplane. So looking at the airplane, what had happened is the airplane threw a propeller blade. It was a two-bladed propeller. Um, constant speed and it had had one blade departed the hub. Uh, the engine mount, the engine was held on by one engine mount and that one engine mount is what kept those people from dying, those guys flying the airplane. Now the FAA just issued back in 2010 a uh, special information, airworthiness information bulletin on propellers and it says in that that recently a single engine airplane experienced a propeller overspeed at 7,000 feet. The pilot reported application of the throttle resulted in propeller overspeed with no appreciable thrust. He attempted to glide to a near airport, established best glide at 110 knots, and he was unable to reach the airport and did a off-field landing. It was determined that the propeller experienced a failure that caused blade pitch change mechanism to move to the low stop position. This caused the propeller to operate as a fixed pitch propeller and that RPM changes uh, it, that the RPM changes the power and the airspeed. The low pitch setting allows for maximum power during takeoff but can result in propeller overspeed at higher airspeeds. A performance evaluation of the flight condition was performed for the particular model involved. Uh, the evaluation indicated that the airspeed lower than the best glide speed would have resulted in increased thrust and enable the pilot to maintain level flight. That's funny. Uh, the graph here shows thrust versus airspeed for typical propeller model at a 12 degree blade angle maintaining 2700 RPMs. Um, from the graph, note that over 118 knots, this propeller is incapable of generating positive thrust. And airspeed has to be lower than 95 knots to generate enough thrust to overcome the aircraft drag and maintain level flight. While different propeller models have different thrust characteristics and different aircraft have different drag characteristics, this concept remains the same. The lower the airspeed, the more thrust there is at a given RPM. Now, looking at the pilot's operating handbooks from several aircraft manufacturers, they did not include emergency procedures for propeller overspeed. Uh, in cases where overspeed procedures were published, the, the procedure said just to reduce the throttle. Uh, more appropriately, they should advise the pilot to control the propeller overspeed by reduction, by throttle reduction and reduction in airspeed as much as practical with an adequate margin above the stall speed so level flight can be maintained. So what the FAA says is that operators of aircraft with variable pitch propellers should be aware in certain instances of prop overspeed, the airspeed necessary to maintain level flight may be different than that associated with engine out best glide speed. This is pretty weird if you ask me. Uh, appropriate emergency procedures would be to mitigate the emergency situation in the event of propeller overspeed. Uh, pilots should be aware that some reduction in airspeed may result in the ability for continued safe flight and landing. The determination of airspeed is more suitable than engine out best glide speed and should be conducted at a safe altitude. Uh, obviously, if you are going to stall the airplane, you want to do that high. Um, but in an emergency situation, I mean, you've only got so much time uh, to play around with. There's emergencies that you want to get high and stay up as long as possible. But you know what? If I thought I was going to throw a propeller blade, I think I'd want to get that thing on the ground. 
At the end of the day, one thing as mechanics we can take away from this is that props are not to be fooled with. Throwing a blade is possible. I didn't think it was, I didn't think that I would ever see it, and I just happened to see it when I was on vacation. Uh, it also turned out that this propeller was overhauled in uh, Guatemala, and the missionary pilots thought that maybe they shouldn't be sending propellers to Guatemala anymore. Um, hard telling, I don't know all the details to this, and I don't know the prop shop that did it. At the end of the day, when someone comes to me and they say, I've got red dye on my windshield, I say, do not ever fly that airplane. Um, talk to the prop shop. Those guys are the experts, and do not mess around with props. Thanks for watching.